Hi, this is our body. The healthcare sector has undertaken considerable research to model physiological signals from different body parts using deep learning. Common signals include electroencephalogram, EEG, electroculogram, EOG, electrocardiogram, ECG, and electromyography, EMG. Among these, EEG is a well-studied field with an abundance of public data and foundational models. In contrast, studies about other signals are still in its nascent stage, lacking the extensive resources in the EEG field. Therefore, our work aims to transfer the models and data resources from the EEG field to the research of more physiological signals. Our approach will be introduced as follows. First, we collect each type of physiological signal, with each record being a multi-channel time series. As our goal is to transfer knowledge from EEG to any other signal, we represent EOG, ECG, and EMG as EXG. For all EEG and EXG sequences, we select three sequences as examples for demonstration. We divide each sequence into patches of length M with C channels. Each patch serves as the smallest unit of representation learning, aiming to enhance local semantics. Next, to enhance the model robustness against changes in the sampling rate, we downsample and upsample EXG signals respectively. The augmented data will participate in subsequent training alongside the original data. This is called sampling augmentation in our method. For EEG, we use the pre-trained foundation model, Brandt 2, as our EEG encoder. Each patch is fed into this pre-trained encoder and generates a strong representation. The EXG signal is fed into a randomly initialized EXG encoder and generates a representation to be trained. The same goes for enhanced EXG data. In this way, we map the data into a latent space. Then we will use the alignment information as a supervision to train the EXG encoder. Our alignment consists of two levels. At a finer grain, we align EEG and EXG data at patch level by placing the synchronous patches close together in the latent space, while mapping unrelated patches further apart. As the video demonstrates, patches collected at the same time are aligned together because they have related semantics. Similarly, the same alignment process would also exist between the EEG data and the two sets of augmented EXG data. This is called patch level alignment in our method. At a coarser granularity level, we first use two linear layers to map the concatenated patch representations into the sequence representation. Then, we set the representations of synchronously collected EEG and EXG sequences, like S sub I and S sub I tilde, as positive sample pairs, while all other sequence pairs are set as negative pairs. Following the common practice in CLIP, we adopt a similarity matrix to optimize this objective. That is, to maximize the similarity on the diagonal. Likewise, we carry out the same alignment process between EEG and augmented EXG data. This is called sequence level alignment in our method. Above is the physiological signal alignment framework we proposed, Brandt X. For more details of this work, please refer to the paper. Thank you.